Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Notes Tutorial and today we are going to talk about Georgian Poetry Moment. Uh, so let's start uh, this one. Georgian Poetry Moment. They worked during the reign of King George V. So first thing you must know that it was George, King George V uh, whose reign was uh, of at that point of time they were called romantics of their time and why they were called romantics of time we will discuss later and they came between aestheticism and modernism so there were two moments and uh, uh, first was aestheticism and second was modernism and in between there was georgian poetry movement georgian poetry is seen as uh, a rejection of aestheticism and whenever, as I to told you in several videos that uh, all or most of, we cannot say all, but most of movements in English literature are uh, rejection or uh, you can say are against to some other movements. So you can uh, find out that if you know the relation between two uh, movements, you can remember it for a longer period. Aestheticism has a motto, uh, the motto was art for art's sake. So it was just a rejection and then Georgian poetry moment was created. If we talk about the history and the history point of view, the Georgian period history runs from 1910 to the death of George V and it was the year 1936. So from 1910 to 1936, this was the time period in history. It was period of emergence of modernism. Modernism was starting that point, at that point of time. We all know on Georgian point, if we uh, take some examples, first is Robert Graves, Edmund Charles Brundle, and Walter uh, de la Mer. Now here, first uh, point is Robert Graves. Robert Graves, he was born in London in 1895 and he served in army. So most of uh, these writers served in army and affected by the post-traumatic stress diso disorder which is called uh, PTSD uh, as well in short form uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. Here Robert Grave wrote uh, one of his best poem at that time The Cool Web and The Cool Web uh, got published in 1927 poem tells about importance of a language so this was the subject matter uh, subject matter or uh, you can say theme Edmund Charles Blunden Edmund Charles Blunden he was born in 1896 in London and he fought in world war as I told you both the writers fought in a world war uh, they were soldiers Undertones of War. So this is uh, his work, 1928, and it was a memoir. He shares his experience of uh, war as he was uh, fighting in war. Uh, so he shared his experience in that uh, work. Walter de la Mare, born in 1873. He wrote poems. He was a prolific writer, and he wrote some of uh, poems, some of no novels, and a story as well. He was renowned for the children's literature. He wrote uh, many books for children. The Listener. This was his first poem and he was, uh, this was his best poem. Uh, got published in 19, uh, 1912. And here is the story of a speaker visit a house inhabited by the ghost. So this was the subject matter of this poem. Uh, if we talk about the Georgian poetry characteristics, First of all, uh, they used formal techniques of uh, writing poetry. First is rhyme, uh, rhyme scheme. They used uh, meter. They used iambic pentameter. They used, and as I told you earlier, that they were romanticism. They were uh, romanticism, romantic period of that time, or romantic poets of their time. They echoed the ideals of romanticism. That's why they are called romantics of that that particular time. They used sentimentality in their work and they use uh, they, they use tender nostalgic feelings in their poetry. Uh, 
or related to love, nature, and that's why you can connect it to the romanticism. They used a simple rhyme schemes in their poetry. So these are uh, the characteristics. So hopefully you understood uh, what what period is Georgian period. Why are they called uh, Georgian period, uh, Georgian uh, poets? And when it ends, who were the Georgian poets and why they were called romantics? So these questions hopefully you know. If you are interested in any kind of course or uh, PDF notes, you can WhatsApp on our uh, WhatsApp number 740928756. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. sharp. So if you are visiting our channel first time, you must know that we have uh, English literature class daily at 7.30 p.m. So see you uh, tomorrow at 7.30 p.m.